Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we are looking into a general message for the next two weeks. If you find this message is helpful or resonating, please give it a thumbs up. Also guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So Sagittarius, let's dive in and see what we can see for your coming energy for these next two weeks. Most important message here for Sagittarius spirit, what do my Sagittarian friends need to know? We'll see if that card comes back out. is the advice we'll pull it over at the end Sagittarius I feel like this is a situation in which you're trying to decide which path to choose the two of wands is definitely present and because of this decision it's almost as if you're like up in the air about something that you've already made a decision about the energy surrounding you this week, Sagittarius, we have the Six of Wands, the Devil energy with the King of Cups. So I do feel like the Six of Wands is a support system. People around you that are uplifting you, trying to push you forward towards your goals, towards your dreams. This Devil energy here, Sagittarius, this can be codependency. A lot of times this will uh, symbolize overindulgence or toxic behavior pattern that is causing disruptions in your life okay now what I feel like this is having to do with your Sagittarius this might not even be you this could be like a friend or a family member that is draining your energy bringing you down but this reading is bringing this to the forefront because you need to pay attention here and we're gonna clarify all of this here in a moment the challenge here Aquarius Aquarius, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, Sagittarius. The challenge here, Sagittarius, the Hierophant, the Ten of Pentacles with the Two of Wands. So it's almost as if you've already made a decision to either marry or have a long-term commitment with this particular person. Maybe the Hierophant is even pertaining to maybe a business venture that you've started with this particular person because we have the Ten of Pentacles here. And now you're looking at this as if, was this the right decision? Was this the right time? Was this the right move to make? I feel like you're getting ready to walk away here. And by the end of this two-week period here, Sagittarius, you're probably going to have made that decision. I feel here right now you're trying to weigh your options, trying to figure out how to get out of. And if this is a business venture... You're trying to figure out how to maybe separate the business or um, figure out contracts, things along those lines. So let's clarify this for you, Sagittarius. How I also see this playing out, guys, is a marriage. So you having already committed to a particular person in your life, and now you're questioning if that was the right decision. Clarify the Six of Wands, the Devil, the King of Cups energy here for Sagittarius, please and thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sagittarius, this is becoming more and more clear as we go along, but I feel like this is more resonating as a relationship. 
as you have already started a relationship or a long-term commitment with a particular person and now you're it's starting to become a burden on some of the goals the dreams the ambitions that you had in your life let's clarify the hierophant the ten of pentacles with the two of wands for the challenge Sagittarius, you already know what you need to do. You just may not know how or you don't want to hurt anybody else's feelings. But what this reading is calling to Sagittarius is you putting yourself, your happiness, your own stability first. And if that's having to leave a particular person behind then by all means, Sagittarius, it's time to do so and focus on the things that bring you joy, that make you feel stable, that make you feel solid. Instead of trying to deal with this conflicted energy, instead of trying to deal with this person who's always trying to drag you down. So let's pull over the advice guidance moving forward. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Definitely feel like there is a need to change your perspective on this particular situation. If you're not happy here, if you don't feel like this is where you want to be, you're only causing more harm than good by staying. Okay? I do feel here, Sagittarius, you're slowly but surely coming to that realization. Um, that, And here's the reason, guys. The reason why... You holding on to this person when you're back and forth, when you're up in the air, if this is your person, normally when we're questioning anything in our lives, it's the universal soft no, okay? Once you get further down this path, it's going to be even more difficult to hold on to this situation, this person, okay? And by you changing your perspective and looking at this as, okay, I'm questioning this. Maybe I need to find somebody that doesn't make me question that I'm on the right path, right? I do feel, Sagittarius, you're headed in the right direction. You are moving forward from this. I just feel like it's happening very slowly. Within the next couple weeks, there are going to be things that transpire between you and this person where the, it's going to be harder and harder for you to ignore this. Your four truths message coming out is don't take anything personally. Embrace your freedom. Funny, funny. You gain a huge amount of freedom when you take nothing personally. No spell can affect you regardless of how strong it may be. And if you live without fear, if you love, you will be happy with your life. Embrace your freedom. Beautiful, beautiful Sagittarius. So, Sagittarius, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this upcoming next two weeks. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.